Hello my sugar plums, welcome back to my channel. Guys, in today's DIY, I'm going to be showing you how to turn this into that. This broken mirror was brought to me by a client saying that she had this mirror in her bathroom and it broke and unfortunately she didn't want to throw it out so she asked me if I could do something fantastic with it. So this is what I end up created. I end up creating a half geode, half mirror for her and she absolutely love it. Now it's super easy to do guys. This is one way of many ways of recycle like any broken glass that you have. I have many DIY on my channel so make sure you check them out. Now this is what the mirrors are going to be looking like when I first got it so um what i decided to do i went in because i needed like a base to basically do my geode on top i went and take that piece of wood and this is plywood is very uh, very thin plywood i'm gonna go ahead and glue my mirror to it now i went out of silicone glue so i'm gonna be using a good old e6000 and hot glue to glue my mirror to my board now it's gonna work perfectly fine any strong adhesive will do so uh you know you don't need to have a uh, you know silicone glue to do it but you know any strong adhesive you have to make sure you have a very strong adhesive so you can have your mirror you know glue to your board now I also went and cut little pieces of um those um um square pieces of the mirror now she had bought me a couple of other uh, pieces of the broken piece so i end up cutting them to make those uh small pieces now i'm gonna go ahead and use both again silicone glue i mean the hot glue um and the e6000 to glue those around the mirror and i decided you know what i'm not gonna um add any grout on it because i'm just gonna be uh, making the geode there but i didn't want the board to stay uh, with the wood color so i'm gonna go ahead and paint it with a white acrylic it doesn't matter what kind of paint you use guys you can use whatever color you want this um, white is not gonna end up showing anyway but i still wanted to make sure that the board part is um Pin it to a color so that way if we have any low um, part that's picking through we'll have like a color instead of the wood part that's showing so once i'm done painting with um on the board with my white acrylic paint i let it dry and then i'm gonna go ahead and start adding my crushed glasses and my crushed stone now all those uh, i'm gonna be using except for the metallic uh, um uh, the metal the rose gold metallic uh, uh loose gem i made those myself so uh make sure you check out this video is uh if i show you how to make you know your own crush glass at home i, I show you three different ways of making your own crush glass at home so if you want to make your own guys you can go ahead and check that video right there or you can click on the link at the uh this uh, on the at the end of the video to check that out or you can go directly to my channel and there's many 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 different DIY right there as well so what I end up doing I went and add all the crushed glass in between the mirrors uh, the low pieces of mirror that I added instead of adding grout there because I didn't want to have any grout there so I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, putting my mirrors down in my crush goes down uh, crush stone down now I'm gonna go ahead with um, the clear uh, mirror uh, crushed glass mirror and I'm also gonna go with this gold looking crushed glass and we're we'll also later on we'll go with um some very honey big chunky crushed glass that i also made and also i have added like a marble one also at the end also of uh, closer to the mirror piece itself now i went and added a little bit of the glitter um the copper glitter from from let's resin and this is the fine glitter they have and i add that a little bit of the epoxy that i'm gonna be adding to uh drizzle on top of my crushed glasses now it's best when when you're doing this uh type of like geode or uh, project uh with uh you're gonna adding you know be adding a lot of crushed glasses or crushed stone to place your stone into the bare you know project first instead and then put the epoxy on top that way you'll be able to move those stones if you don't want you know, you don't like the position that you had put them now i went and added the royal gold uh mica powder to a little bit of epoxy um and then i'm gonna go ahead and add that epoxy now i don't want the, the gold to overpower the whole project so we're gonna be adding less gold um you know on this project because later on i'll be adding the uh gold leaf uh, flakes to it so i don't want to have 
have like this um, gold mixed with the mica powder and the epoxy to overpower it so what i'm doing right now is just using my heat gun on high heat and uh, medium air so i can go ahead and heat up my epoxy and blow it in the the, the, the direction that i want it to be and then once i'm this is done now i'm gonna go ahead and add more of my colors now i end up adding more of the uh, glitter um copper glitter from let's resin into uh the piece but unfortunately i forgot to press record when i was adding them but for my makeup powder i'm gonna be using ruby lux blue and uh shimmer white was gonna be mixing it with the um uh, crush crystal from unicorn art and also the makeup powder i'm gonna be using guys i'm gonna be using them from black diamond and authoris i'll leave the link for everything for you in the description box below guys so you can see them i will go and mix my epoxy i believe for the whole project total i use a total of 12 ounces of epoxy so i'm i'm do them in uh, um of four ounces you know at a time now after i went in on uh, uh, did my four ounces of epoxy um total two part a and two part b and mix them together i went and separated into four different cups uh, which have my three colors and then i left a little bit of the clear so i can put on top of my stone after i finish adding them now i'm using my stone i'm showing you I'm, I'm i'm adding my stone to my piece and i'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of that metallic uh, rose gold um tiny gemstone on top of the gold crushed glass and then for the big chunky uh, brown honey color i'm gonna gonna be adding them at the end of this side and a little bit on at the bottom part just to give this side um, a finished look and then once I'm done doing adding my stone I'm gonna go over them with my clear coat of epoxy to make sure that they don't move then once I'm done doing that I'm gonna go with my colors I'm gonna go ahead and start adding my colors one by one I'm gonna start with the ruby red color and then we're gonna go with the lux blue and then after that we're gonna finish with the mix of um, shimmer white mixed with the crush uh, crystal from unicorn art and then once i'm done doing that guys all i'm gonna be doing again is using my heat gun on high heat and medium air and then we're gonna go ahead and blow up some bubbles and warm up our epoxy and then help it blend the colors together once i'm done blending my color to uh the way that i think it looks good i'm gonna go ahead and let this piece sit down for at least three hours because i want it to uh cure enough but i want it to um the piece to still be sticky because i will be adding my uh gold leaf flakes on in certain part of the the piece so i want that stickiness to be there so once i'm done adding my um crush um my uh gold leaf flakes i'm gonna be using a tweezer um a tweezer to add my gold leaf flakes don't touch the piece guys if you're doing this and you don't let it completely dry don't touch the piece with your finger you don't want to leave your fingerprint onto the piece that you're gonna give to you know a client so this is what this is gonna be looking like after i went and mix all the epoxy uh, colors together so i'm satisfied with the way it looks so i let it sit down for three hours and then after three hours i'm gonna go with my gold flakes and then i'm gonna go and add them mostly on the gold parts of the piece but i'll add them a little bit here and there but we're gonna mostly focus the gold flakes to be where we have the gold showing on the piece itself and once i'm done adding my gold flakes guys i'm gonna go ahead and let it cure overnight and guys make sure that you check the description box below i'll leave the link for uh, um the, the uh everything that i use in the description box below for you and i also uh, create an amazon store so which is gonna be a lot easier for you to just click on the amazon link store and then you'll see all the things that i use uh, i put all the fav the favorite of uh, thing that I, I love using in all the products that i use uh, for my diys you can just go and see all of them in one place so i'm, I'm using the but uh, the top part of my tweezer to kind of push down the gold flakes so that way you don't use your hand or like a brush because using a brush is not going to be good you might leave like the bristle sitting on the piece so be careful when you're doing that so this is what it's going to be looking like after i am completely done with adding the uh, gold flakes now i let it dry overnight because i want it to be 
completely cure and then the next morning what i do i went i'm gonna go over it and top coat it with a clear coat of epoxy and then we're gonna call it a day let it completely cure and then the next next day which is gonna be day number three we'll go and finish the whole thing up guys thank you so much for being here if you're an old subscriber and you're back to watching my video i really 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 appreciate that if you're new to my channel and this is your first time watching any of my videos thank you so much for being here i really really appreciate that it will help me a lot if you go ahead and click on that subscribe button like this video share it with your friends and family and don't forget to hit on the notification bell to be notified on all my new upload in this channel we try to upload every friday and sunday or every friday and monday guys, thank you again for being here i really 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 appreciate that okay guys so this is the next day day number three i went and added my clear top coat bust the bubbles with the heat gun and then i also took a torch um to it to make sure that we had the clear stuff the whole piece looking crystal clear with no bubbles on it and then i'm gonna go ahead and let it cure okay now once it's cured i'm gonna go ahead and put in the finishing touch on the mirror by um adding a gold uh, mesh trim on the edges so we can do the edges just because i had like the piece of wood sitting under uh, under the the mirror i didn't want to pan it out so i went it to make the whole piece on one you know color and so i'm gonna go with the gold mesh um uh, trim i'm gonna just using my heat gun to glue it down and this gold mesh trim i got from totally dazzle guys they have very very beautiful stuff and it's very cheap i think this came well with like I think it's like 30 feet for like $15 and they are very very high quality so I'll leave the link for their store also in the description box below make sure to check them out so I'm showing right now I'm gonna go ahead and add the gold, uh, gold mesh stream all around the mirror and this is what it's gonna be looking like I think it looks great on it give it a finished touch now I'm gonna be using my 18 karat gold leaf and I'm only gonna be using it at the um, the lip of the edge of where I have the geode showing and just to give like a little bit more detail and bring the gold a tiny little bit over and then once i'm finished doing that i'm gonna go over it with uh, some fine tape metallic um uh pen uh and i'm gonna be using um mostly the uh, gold and the silver just because my daughter completely messed up the copper looking one <laughs> um the tip it's not it's just coming out in blob of uh, ink now so i don't want to use it so i'm gonna go ahead and create all my lines in the lines this is what's gonna make it look like a beautiful geode and it's gonna bring the whole thing together once i finish adding my line that's it guys i'm gonna go ahead and leave it and we are done with the mirrors and i'm gonna give you a close-up and i absolutely love the way it finished she was really really happy with the way the whole thing look and this is just one of the many 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 ways guys you can recycle a broken mirror if it's broken you don't have to throw it away you can find something else to do with it i have many many mirrors diy on my channel make sure you go ahead and click on my channel and go directly to the channel and click on the video and see many many mirror diy that i have and show you how to make diy with mirrors in as well as many other diy video that i have make sure you go ahead and click on them again if you're not subscribed to the channel please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and like this video that will help us out a lot join your uh, family and guys i promise you you won't regret it because we have many many cheap diy for you in this channel so guys until next time i'm gonna go ahead and let you watch the remaining um video and see a close-up on the way the whole thing look at the end of the video until then my beautiful babies i'll see you next time and be blessed and stay blessed i love you guys bye Mwah.